My name is Aaron Colton. I'm a husband, father, Minnesota boy, and a professional motorcycle rider. After a big year that took me everywhere from SoCal to Mykonos, I am ready to load up the family and head up to Red Bull's Day in the Dirt. Day in the Dirt is my favorite weekend of the entire year. It gives me the opportunity to bring together my friends, family, and the entire moto community for a throttle-filled weekend at Glen Helen. For this go around, I'm looking forward to rebuilding the iconic Twin Spar CR into my race-ready dream machine to earn me that Ironman. Here we are at one of my favorite places. For one, the shop. For two, it's Craigslist. I literally spent my entire childhood shopping on platforms like this because when I was in a situation where money was far, far tighter, it really made a difference to get an excellent deal on a bike. Basically here, I'm scrolling through Craigslist trying to see what we have for bikes available. I'm hoping to switch it up. I did a Yamaha YZ125 for the first round of Project Two Stroke. And uh, I think being 2.0 on a double up, go CR250, get a little Honda in the mix. I came across a good price on an O2 for $1,800. First thing I wanna know, is the paperwork in order, registration up to date, and it's available. If all those are green light, then I can actually start spending time asking the right type of questions that'll be based specifically on each bike to bike. All right, let's try to make a call on this one. Yes. Hello? No way, we picked up. Hi, I'm calling about the 2004 CR250 that you have listed for sale on Craigslist. Yes. Questions that I had based on this, do you have the title in hand? I do not, it is a... After striking out on my hunt for the CR online, I gave a call to my buddy Alex, who owns a shop across town. Exactly half of a 250, he had a CR125 that was worth taking a look at. So what was the 411 on this thing? So I have a friend of a client who I guess he hasn't driven it in a while. He wants to sell it okay. and I know you're looking for a bike. Yeah. All right, I guess I'll give it a go. <clears throat> give it a try. I think we might bump it. Let's hit it. Let it die. It's a runner, technically. It just needs some love. Well, now that you've broken it, you have to buy it. <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty much. <laughs> um, yeah, I think so. So that's a wrap on day one, Project Two Stroke 2.0. Intended on finding myself a CR250, but ended up running into a CR125. No problem with that, small bore, twice the fun. But looking forward to getting rocking and rolling tomorrow, waking up with the songbirds to put in a full day, breaking this thing down to the frame. Good morning. First full day here in Garage 93, getting to work on Project Two Stroke 2.0. We're gonna get this thing unloaded, wash it, and strip the thing down from there. It's gonna be the first big day that we have, so it's time to turn and burn. So this thing was super, super greasy and oily from both two-stroke oil and who else knows what chain loop error box oil. And uh, so I gave the thing a degreaser, pressure washed it to knock the thick stuff off. Now I'm gonna hit it with the degreaser again, go at it with the brushes and then give it another go with the pressure washer. There's been a few changes since the last Project Two Stroke, but the biggest being, I now have a little buddy to help me out in the garage. Can you give me a hand? Okay, this one, ready, pull. You gotta use all your muscles. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Okay, look at this rusty, crusty. Okay, ready, grab it. Whoa. Uh, you got it? Okay, can you go set it over there? Okay. Awesome. 
So there we have it. The heart is out of the CR125, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. We still have many late nights and early mornings to go before this thing's ready for day in the dirt, so it's time to get my hands on the parts washer and start super cleaning on some of these parts. So we've reached the point of no return. The bike is completely disassembled. I've made my list. I know what parts I need to order. I know what errands I need to run and what parts need to be refurbished. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be running all around Southern California, running my errands, picking up parts, stopping at some of my favorite places, getting work done to get this thing ready to rock and roll so I can put it back together next week. Friday morning here in Garage 93, day in the dirt exactly one week away, and we have two big build days ahead of us. All the parts and pieces are clean, new ones ordered, and if I crunch the numbers right, I have everything I should need to finish this build. I have my buddy Alex coming in in a couple hours to help me crank through this so we can make it a faster come together and hopefully get a test day in before we get out to day in the dirt. So right now for the build, we're kind of at the first point where the work I've been doing the past few days looks like it's coming together. We got the motor in the frame, swing arm, linkage put together, shock on. From this point forward, it's very gratifying because it looks like the bike actually is turning into a motorcycle. We're definitely a ways away from getting this thing started up, but starting to feel like a motorcycle is actually gonna come out of this pile of parts. I'm super excited. So it's another beautiful morning here at Garage 93. It's day two of the build day on the CR125, and it's pretty nice to be able to come outside this morning and not just see parts scattered everywhere across the shop. We have what's starting to look like a real motorcycle. There's still a good bit of work to do today, but overall I'm pretty confident with everything that I have to get done. At this point, I've already put the motor together, but I just need to take off the top end and do a quick cylinder hone. I wasn't able to find someone to hone the cylinder locally, so I'm just gonna do a manual deglazing, which is something I haven't done before, so learning as I go every step of the way all the time with projects like this. But I'm just excited because today's the day I get to put the plastics on, graphics on, and then quite honestly, the moment of truth started up. Another awesome day here in Garage 93. We got the 125 alive and well. It started on the fourth kick and very happy with how it's running, so at least it has a heartbeat. It still has a lot of work to go, but mainly it's just plastics and graphics, that type of work. I'm gonna close you guys out, get working overnight so I can make the test day. After one final night of grinding in the shop, this steed is complete. Over the last two weeks, I transformed this beat up CR125 into a race ready beauty with fresh engine, suspension, plastics, 
brakes, a fresh chain line, and a whole ton of midnight oil, she's ready to hit the dirt at Glen Helen. But first, I'm headed on a test ride. Man, what a day. We didn't get all that much seat time, but we got exactly as much as we needed. Runner, feels good. And honestly, all I have to do is bring it home, wash it, load it back up for day in the dirt, and it's ready to rock and roll. Five races, gonna be a long weekend. This is the speed that's gonna get me there. Up next on Project Two Stroke, I take this CR to the mountains of Glen Helen and put it through its paces to race at the fastest party in town, Day in the Dirt.